this is Jeff with the Embroidery Nerd and today we are going to talk about fonts. I get a lot of questions about fonts and you know a lot of them are really valid. Um, so we're gonna hopefully answer just one of those questions today. This solution was actually brought to somebody brought to me by somebody from uh, our Facebook group um, that they have found and they really like and I think that it is an excellent solution to when you get fonts that you want to bring into Chroma. So, we'll go ahead and start here. Um, we've got our window open. Uh, I have a DST font that I digitized in another program and exported, so it's DST files in a zipped folder, just like you would get if you purchased it on the internet. So, the, what we are going to do is we're going to utilize the Designs tab in the Sequence Windows. Now, we've got birds, and you can see them there, butterflies, flowers, fruits, and the sea, so we got a few fishes and seashells, and those are great, but what would we do if we could get our fonts in there and I'll go ahead and show you that right now so what the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close chroma and I'm gonna open up a couple of folders here that I have so right here I have my fonts folder and if we go into it uh, let me open it with the file explorer here so we'll go file open I use a different program and but we'll do it with the file explorer because that's more than likely what you're going to be used to. So we'll go we'll go ahead and we'll click in here and you can see I've got my A to Z in my font. So we are going to extract the compressed folder. We're going to extract it and we're just going to drop it right in the, the folder and we're going to tell it to show us the files when it's done. So there we go. We've got Chroma content, we've got a folder called font and inside of it we've got a font again and I'm gonna rename that font um, because it is a font that I made and so we'll click on that and I'm gonna go ahead and rename it and you can name this to whatever font you get so we're gonna call this one Jeff's font and we're gonna go there so now we are going to copy the folder Jeff's font and now we will go to our C drive okay so their C drive on our computer we're going to go into designs and we're going to go into chroma okay and then you can see we've got our birds butterfly flowers fruits and C. we are going to right click and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it fonts and then inside of that fonts folder I'm going to paste my extracted font so now we have here chroma fonts just fonts if we open it up you can see all the letters A to Z if I have multiple fonts, I would just create another folder here and we would call it the next font like Blaster. Okay, and then we would copy our Blaster fonts in there. Um, so we just did that and now we're going to show you how to utilize it in Chroma. So I'm going to double click on Chroma. It's going to pop up and tell me that and hit yes and it's going to pop up. We're going to open Inspire and it will pop up on the wrong monitor, but that's okay. In a second here, I will click on new design so I can move it to the proper monitor so you guys can see it. So, now let's say we want to do a font. We can go over here to our designs. We can click on fonts, and you can see here we have Blaster and Jeff's font. So Blaster doesn't have anything in it because we didn't put anything in it. And Jeff's font, we have our letters. So, if I wanted to spell out a word, I can just click on a letter and I can drag it over here. So we can do E, M, B, N, E, R, D. There we go. So I'm going to kind of space them from the left to the right. Uh, the gaps in between the letters. This is called kerning. Um, when you space the distance between letters is your kerning. So I'm, you notice I'm not really worrying about lining them up vertically because I can select them all and I can align along the bottom. So we just align along the bottom. I want to move this a little bit further over. We'll select it all again and we will align on the bottom. And let's turn on our 3D view. And here you can see is our font that is our DST font and over here are our letters and we could just drag and drop them in rather than going to file and selecting merge to bring them in as a design and this tends to be faster 
um, you can be a little bit more organized and you can use the existing designs uh, the existing DST files that you have uh, for fonts so I hope this helps you guys out as always hit the like and the subscribe button find us on Facebook and this is Jeff with the Embroidery Nerd have a great day